The Nokia X is a great little device, although it's a little bit underpowered compared to what we've become accustomed to recently. It also has a very interesting launcher. And by interesting, I mean weird. What would happen if we could put a Google experience onto the Nokia X? I'm Joe Levi with Pocket Now. Today, we're going to do just that. Here's our dual SIM Nokia X. Once we turn it on, you can see it's got the traditional lock screen on it. If we swipe over to the side though, we don't have that really weird launcher anymore. Instead, we have the Google Experience or Google Now launcher. It looks just like you'd expect it to, complete with the auto flowing panes. If you put an icon over here on the side, it will automatically give you an extra page and whatnot. It's got folders just like you're used to. It's got the app drawer that's really kind of snappy. You can go back using your universal back button and then of course you've got Google Now over on this pane. But does it really work? Well let's find out. Okay Google, how tall is the Empire State Building? The Empire State Building is 1,250 feet tall. So we've got complete Google Now functionality, including hot word detection on the home screen. That's great. We've got Hangouts. That's even better. We've got the Play Store. So anything you want to download and install, you can, including stuff that you've already purchased, as long as it's compatible with the device, which I haven't seen much that's not compatible yet. Let's go ahead and fire up Chrome. Now, this is much better than the stock internet browser that comes with the Nokia X. You can see in here, Flows very nicely. Pocket Now looks great. If we wanted to come in and do a search, we can use the Google keyboard. Let's search Michael Fisher. Why? Because we can. Now this corrected to be Michael Fiddler, which is Michael Fisher's long lost cousin. But even still, you can see we've got images. We've got a nice scroll. This is loading up uh, at my request in the desktop version of the search results so we can turn that off and get the mobile version which looks a lot better and formatted to the screen but of course we can show off the pinch to zoom all that well on the uh, the mobile version because it, it just looks wonky but other than being a little bit slower than you're used to it lays out the same it looks the same it functions almost the same if you want to go back home press and hold on the back button and that'll take you back to your home screen overall this has just made the Nokia X into a real Android. With the right tools and a bit of patience, you can do this too. But that leads us to our question of the day. Is this something that you would do with your Nokia X to make it look more Android-like and allow you to run the apps that regular Androids can run? Or if you would previously passed up the Nokia X because it didn't look like an Android, is this something that would make you change your mind and give it a try after all? We want to know. Head down to the comments, give us your feedback, and let us know what your Nokia X is going to look like. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, and of course, share it with all of your friends on your favorite social network. For Pocket Now, showing off cool stuff that you can do with your devices, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.